Ladies and gentlemen, with the arrival of Patrick Williams to the Chicago Bulls with that fourth pick of the NBA draft, after making a lot of videos about what I expect from these Bulls players next season, it is time to finally assess what I think to expect from Patrick Williams in this upcoming season. There is so much to talk about, probably the most to talk about in terms of this young rookie. Can he be the real deal this season or is this a waiting game for the Chicago Bulls? Let's find out what I think right now. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls video. I know it's been a long time, a few days as a matter of fact, but finally we've got a Chicago Bulls video and this one is in relation to Mr. Patrick Williams, the fourth selection in the NBA draft and what exactly can we expect from this young lad within this season of the Chicago Bulls that is only a few weeks away. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below what do you think Patrick Williams will average in this upcoming season it's very hard to predict of course do you think he'll be starting and overall what would you like to see at the end of the day if you've just seen some of the highlights that Patrick Williams have been in over the course of the days, some of the videos of him training with NBA players like Spencer Dinwiddie, Trey Young, Jeremy Lin, so many NBA players that were he was pr practicing with, and he was doing very, very well against them. Now, this isn't an indication of what he could be in the NBA, but the fact of the matter is this guy is the second youngest rookie in this rookie draft class. And he is performing like he is a proper NBA player already before even standing foot on the court. Now, there is a difference between the so-called YMCA basketball and the NBA. Of course there is. The level might not be as good from there to the NBA. But you have to understand that this player has not even stepped foot in the NBA yet. And you have players like Spencer Dinwiddie that are passing him to the ball on a regular basis. You have players like Trey Young that he's stealing the ball from on a regular basis. This is a very big indication of the potential that Patrick Williams does have in the NBA and also for our team. He's also the fourth pick in the NBA draft. Being the fourth pick is a very, very, very high projection for a player. And most likely, you're looking for a player that can lead you to the future with the fourth pick. From first to four to five, maybe around six and seven is when you think good players. But one to four, you ultimately say that is the key. This is the key to our franchise. This is to unlock the door to a whole lot of potential. And that's what we think Patrick Williams can be for us. And I truly believe that's what the Chicago Bulls believe Patrick Williams will be for them. So... You've mentioned, I've mentioned a lot of positive things from Patrick Williams. The question remains, will he be starting for the Chicago Bulls this season? Well, I might have an answer that might be a little bit different to you guys. So let me know in the comments below, do you think Patrick Williams will start for the Chicago Bulls? I think this is going to be a progress with Patrick Williams. Now, he could very well come in straight away, instant impact for the Chicago Bulls. In a click of an eye, he could be a very valuable piece, a very, very good asset, and one of the best players on the Bulls. That can happen, and I would not be surprised at all if it does happen. But I truly think we are going to take an approach of putting him on the bench at least. Now, preseason will be very, very telling. Again, we do have a preseason the Chicago Bulls are going to look forward to. Patrick Williams should be playing in those preseason games. And what we see from Patrick Williams in those preseason games can make a very big difference to whether he's starting or not. Now, in my opinion, what I say... I believe Patrick Williams should be starting right off the bat because he's a young rookie that is supposed to come in and give us a contribution from the from the from the three position, the four position, any position he can play them all. So the fact is, I think he should be starting, but I don't think the Chicago Bulls are going to go down that route straight away. Similar to Kobe White, but I would say a little bit less than what Kobe White had to deal with. That's what I see Patrick Williams going through. So if you don't know what Kobe White went through last season, Kobe White went through a very, very, very long period of time where he didn't start over a player that everyone wanted him to start over in Thomas Sadoransky. No disrespect to Sadoransky intended. But everybody wanted Kobe White to start. And we finally got our wish towards the end of the season for us. And that's when he had his best games for the Chicago Bulls. Now, I see Patrick Williams coming off the bench for the first few games at least. Maybe the first month. But if he is what we expect him to be, 
He should be making so much of an impact that we simply cannot refuse to put him into the starting lineup. Again, he brings a lot of things that the Chicago Bulls are looking for. We're looking for diversity and versatility. Patrick Williams is your guy. We're looking for a little bit of playmaking, maybe some point forward role, maybe a bit of scoring. Patrick Williams can be your guy. Maybe not the main guy, but can be a guy that does that. You're looking for defense. This guy looks NBA ready defensively already, so he could do that. The fact of the matter is, We've drafted a very, very good player. So I think whether he starts off the bench or he starts off the bat, he's going to make his name on this team sooner or later. But I expect him to start off the bench at the beginning and work his way up. And maybe it won't take long, but I do see him eventually being in the starting lineup for this team over the coming season, this season, throughout the season. I see him coming and being that player that we expect him to be. Now his averages. That's a big thing here, because with a rookie, it's very hard to just say, you're, I want you to average this, take it or leave it. Because especially when you're a rookie, you have no idea how well they're going to perform at the NBA level, at the NBA ready level, and also towards the team. What kind of role is Patrick Williams going to have on this team? How is he going to be played? How is he going to get his shots? Is he going to be a dribble cr shot creator? Is he going to be a pick and pop guy? Is he going to be a guy that beats his man off the dribble? All these things are pretty much his own game and also divided by the coach's game plan. So what do I expect from Patrick Williams? I am not going to set a limit on his stats. That's the first thing. I'm not going to say if he averages less than 10 points per game, he's had a bad year. Because at the end of the day, he might be seen as a defensive mindset player for the first few years. With rookies, it's very hard to determine. With Kobe White, I didn't have a limit on Kobe White either. Because I thought Kobe White would be a very good player for the Chicago Bulls. But he has turned out to something that I believe the Chicago Bulls have been missing for a long time. A point guard that is scoring and can and potentially play Mac and develop his game in other ways. With Patrick Williams, I see the same thing. I see a young player that can contribute on this team in the first year, but ultimately down the line, we will see a player that could develop his game beyond what anybody could expect. So stats-wise, I'm not setting any stats. I don't believe that's the correct thing to do for any rookie. Um, of course, if you're a Zion Williamson, you obviously have the star level expectations. With Patrick Williams, we have great expectations for this young kid. But the stats alone will not reflect how good this kid can be over the course of a few years. He said it himself. He's going to come in whether it's a role player, a starter, or giving these players Gatorades at the end of the game. He said that himself. He's coming into this team to contribute and contribute his role he will. So that's what I want. That's my expectation for Patrick Williams. Whatever his role may be on any given night, if it's a scoring role, if it's a defensive role, if it's both, if it's everything, if he, if he wants to do everything, I expect Patrick Williams to contribute for the Chicago Bulls. That's my expectation. I'm not going to say he needs to average 15 points or he needs to get 10 rebounds or he needs to steal, he needs to be amongst the steal leaders because there's not time for that. We don't know what type of player he will be in the NBA. Because what he looks like, it looks like he has everything in his in his table. He looks like he can catch and shoot. He looks like a good mid-range shooter. He can defend. He can pass. I've said all these things before. I don't need to say it again. My expectation from him is to contribute whenever he's on. To give everything whenever he's on. Make, make us become a believer in Patrick Williams. And most of us already are. But make us... Get proven correct. Prove us right. Prove us to us that Patrick Williams is the guy for the Chicago Bulls. That's my expectation on him this year. And of course, the highlights that we've seen so far. The way that his personality traits how well they work with the Chicago Bulls. He's a gritty player. He will work hard. I can't wait. I truly cannot wait to see what he will do for the Chicago Bulls. Just how good he will be at the NBA. And that is always going to be an indication. The first season will not always be the answer that you're looking for. But when, when you watch the games, you will hopefully see Patrick Williams. You will see the star potential in him. You will see that he can be an all-star. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, and hopefully you guys will agree with me. I do feel like it is wrong to set stats upon a young player, especially a rookie. I don't want to set a limit for him, because at the end of the day, he could average 25 points per game for all we know. And then no one's going to be expecting that, and no one wants to put that limit on him, because he can do so much more with over the coming years than just one year. At the end of the day, we have got a player on our hands that is really young, 
ready to learn and very highly thought of amongst all NBA teams. And for the most part, we did this with the fourth pick. Many, many other teams wanted this player. And of course, at the time, we didn't know that, but we do know that now. So I just want to watch him grow. And I can't wait to see him grow. I can't wait to see our young core grow. I can't wait to see what Kobe White is going to do. I can't wait to see what Larry's supposed to do and Wendell's supposed to do. I can't wait for our team to come into this season and we'll have our answers. We will know what Patrick Williams will be like within the NBA level and we can finally set some standards for him after this year. We will know what we, what to expect from Kobe White, Larry Mark, and we will know if these players are good enough or not. Patrick Williams is one of many players that I'm looking forward to seeing. Of course, he's the most exciting. He's the newest addition. He's the addition that has been compared to Jimmy Butler, compared to Kawhi Leonard, compared to, a, to all three and D players, compared to a bunch of two-way players. This is the player that we can hope that can take us to the future. He could send Otto Porter out of a job for all we know. Who really knows what this kid is capable of? But that's what I expect. All I want is for Patrick Williams to contrib contribute, and that's my expectation. Thank you guys for watching. At the end of the day, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Patrick Williams and what are you expecting out of him this year. Stats-wise or not, if you want to put stats on him, that's fine. But I just don't feel like it's the right thing to do on my own my own personal reasons. I don't feel like putting a stat line on a rookie is the best idea, especially because everybody can develop in different ways. Everybody has different attributes and different timelines to develop. There are so many ways that a rookie, especially that young, can develop. And he could be anything that he wants to be. So the rookie, the stats, I'm not personally going to do that. But if you guys want to do that, that's fine. I do plan to make this video on Devon Dotson as well in the coming days because of course he is a good addition to the Chicago Bulls and my expectations for him might be a little bit different to Patrick Williams. So let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about Patrick Williams on the Chicago Bulls. Ultimately, we'll be making more Chicago Bulls videos as there's no news that right now. It's more going to be discussion based, more about question and answers, those type of videos. I would like to know anybody in the comments below if you have any video ideas. I do have one that will be kept in my mind. Thank you to the person who did message me about this, about the 2021 free agency class and who would I go after. That's a video I will definitely plan to do over the coming days as well, maybe a week. We will see. But there is more Chicago Bulls videos to come. They will never, ever go away. Whether it's a two days, three days, they will always come back. There's always a, there's always going to be something to talk about for the Chicago Bulls, whether it's no news and discussions or big news and no discussions. There will be Chicago Bulls videos coming for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. This is one of many videos that should be coming out over the course of days with the Chicago Bulls. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below any video suggestions. What do you think about Patrick Williams? And just overall, how excited are you for this season? How excited do you th believe the Chicago Bulls should be? The fans should be. And where do you expect us to end up finishing within the NBA season? Because that is a big decisive question that I will hopefully try to give an answer to again. Another video idea. I'm giving them away, ladies and gentlemen. My video ideas, my plans, they're all going away. They're going to you guys. But again, they're coming. So stay tuned for them. Take care and peace.